We're getting ready today. This is not just a curly hair routine. This is gonna help me pick out an outfit. Jesus. Hey guys. That was really loud. What it do and what it does. It's your favorite curly girl, Sydney. How are we? How are we? I literally just got out the shower and I said, let me make a video. I miss y'all. Let me turn this light on. Hold on. Ah, I miss y'all for real. Like a lot. So much has happened. So many things are about to change on this channel. Y'all have no idea. Let's just get started. I actually fell asleep with a mask on in my hair yesterday. I don't know what to say. I rinsed it out this morning. Yeah, this is the state of my hair. My hair is pretty long right now, but I'm starting to realize something. No boy, no. It's something no boy, no. This side and this side, they're not the same. Like at first, I just thought like, okay, shrinkage, possibly. When I pull, look, oh, you guys can't see my hair is that long. <laughs> you see, it's like going under and this one is just there. No. And then this part for sure like they're not they're not even next week i'm gonna straighten my hair so then i'll probably get a cut um because regardless i i wasn't ever planning on like getting a curly cut i never wanted like a an actual cut for my curly hair which i know it could emphasize my texture and make it look better but it's not really my vibe and you guys be thinking like wow she is so tan this is my natural skin color I don't know what was in the air during 2020 and 2021, but my skin was stripped of its melanin, like literally stripped. Now this is like what I'm normally used to seeing. I'm in at the beach. Anyways, I'm going to go in with the three in one. I haven't used this in forever. I haven't used it in forever and I feel like today would be a good day to do so. I feel like my hair is lacking moisture. It's just been feeling like hard lately. What have you guys been up to? What have you guys been listening to? I've had a couple people, you know, DM me like, hey, are you okay? But I don't know. I'm changing things here on this channel. Does anybody else feel like their life is changing this summer? Like changing completely from like everything you know? I was watching um, Raw Beauty Christie's video. It's her most recent video about her existential crisis. And that's exactly how I feel. I don't know who I am anymore. So I'm changing so much that it's like, what do you like anymore? Like, is anything the same? By the way, I bought this brush. I don't know if I ever showed it to you guys, but I don't really, I don't like it. I feel like it's better for wavy hair. If you have wavy hair, I think this is better for you because it doesn't look good with my hair. Like, takes away the curl. My hair is getting so long that the roots are no longer like curly. <laughs> Literally, my curls start from like here now. What's been helping with that is um, flipping upside down. I'm gonna put some of this in. It's the Risos Curl Curl Defining Cream. I really like this brand, I really do. I wanna get more stuff from them, but it's just a bit expensive for me right now. So as soon as I can, I will go get it. And also I've been trying to get rid of like all this other stuff. That's really like the main reason. Oh, I tried diffusing for everybody that's always in the comments like, you should diffuse your hair, it would look so much better. No, it didn't, it looked really bad. My hair was not, did not look good at all. The other day I was thinking like, wow, my hair is like not curling on the top. Like what the hell do I do? As long as like everything else is nice, I don't really care about that part. And then I'm gonna go in with this, the Curl Talk Sculpting Gel Frizz Free, blah, blah, blah. I've also been trying to put as, more, as much moisture in my hair as possible because I feel like the reason why my hair was growing so much before was because all I was using was moisture products. And like once in a while I was doing protein. But I don't know, I just kept like gravitating more and more every wash day to protein products. And I guess my hair was like, yeah, that's, that's enough. It's enough slices! Ooh, a fresh pie. Save me a slice. That's good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's... All right, that's good. Okay, okay. All right, okay, all right. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's... It's enough slicing! I have something really cool coming up next for you guys. I can't wait for you guys to hear about it, see about it. If I cared more, I would try to curl from the top, from up here, but I uh, couldn't be bothered. Do you see this? This is crazy. This is, it looks like I have like two different like links. This side is growing much healthier than this one and I don't, I don't even sleep on this side. 
We're getting ready today, like full getting ready. This is not just a curly hair routine video. This is a everything video. We're doing hello today. We're gonna help me pick out an outfit. It's 91 degrees outside. <laughs> Lately, these pants from Zara. I got them, I think, in California when I went. I really don't remember. I'm obsessed with them. And then this shirt is from my mom's store. Um, yes, we have a little boutique if you didn't know. High collection. I've shown several videos on it. But yeah, this was part of like our 80s kind of collection. It's the Valentina shirt. Chicken, I don't know. Like my all my hairs are standing right now. It's really weird. But this is a shirt. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but this is the shirt that I don't want to take off at all. I don't know. It just makes me feel so cute. I don't have to wear a bra with it. The white one is a bit transparent, so I do wear a bra with it and I wear it a little bit differently. This is a white one and it is like much more see-through than the beige one. So I normally wear it with like a cute bra and I'll just button like one button and that's it. This one I can just do the three in the bottom and call it a day. These pants though, the body yaddy yaddy that it gives, it's giving like I'm a lawyer but I'm going to get drinks with my girls after work. You know what I'm saying? Like they're just so flattering, they're so comfortable, they make my butt look like amazing. And yeah, I wear them with sneakers, heels, and sandals. This necklace is also from our store. Um, I don't take it off. I don't know why. I love the pearls. Never really had pearls growing up. I want to do a little bit of makeup. And by a little bit, I mean like the bare, bare minimum. My lips are extremely dry. And it's because it's freezing in this house. It's my makeup bag. Charlotte Tilbury's setting spray. Flawless, whatever, whatever only only going in with blush i got this from a boxy charm like last year or something i don't know it comes like this i like to use this shade right here that is more like berry and i mix it with this one that's like extremely pink powder to like attach itself to the spray to the water and it just makes me look like i'm sun kissed and i've been in like the pool which i really have but i just haven't gotten like sunburnt this whole time put some on my forehead because if you're getting burnt here then you're getting burnt up there <laughs> I look crazy on camera. It doesn't look that like into I mean, it does look into <laughs> Then I like to go in with mascara. I have this one because I got it in Ulta the other day, but it's not really that good if I'm being honest. I was trying to find my other one, but I guess I'll just use this one. Yo, I'm like smudging this all over, like probably like on purpose, I guess. Like this. Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever, thank God we didn't put concealer on. And then a little bit of brows. Got my eyebrows tinted the other day with henna. Oh my God, y'all. 10 out of 10. If you haven't done it and you kind of want to like see what your eyebrows would look like if they were tinted, just do henna because it only lasts two weeks. And that's it like they'll go away i kind of still feel like it's there's a little bit of residual or maybe i kind of like started appreciating my eyebrows a little bit more since i did them you know i love my eyebrows it's just when i get tan it looks like i have no eyebrow hairs are so fine kind of want to go back and get them done again and it's super inexpensive versus like getting a whole thing a whole tinted and then like what if you don't like them in like three years i love this marker by the way so good so it doesn't put out like too much like the other ones that i've tried i'm gonna take that same palette and put a little bit highlight in my inner corner but i really haven't watched like makeup videos in so long I'm like holy shit is that me doing this i don't know if you guys seen on tiktok but they're like always like oh put a little bit under your eye that it like draws attention or something i don't know i never did that i just did it right now and that's it I mean, I've seen what my hair looks like when it's dry. Should I come back? Should I show you guys? It's not gonna dry for now. I'm gonna go in as soon as it's dry with a little bit of oil. Put it on my ends. Look. Oh my god. It is so noticeable. Jesus. Who lets me? Oh my god. I cannot wait. And I really don't want to cut like this much off. It's just, it's, there's a big difference. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't want like all my hair to be this length out. I like it like this. Oh, also I've been trying to like learn how to do my baby hairs. I've been on this budget for a really long time, y'all. If you've been on this page, you know, like I've just tried to be on it, but I suck. It's like, okay, I get it there, right? But then when it comes to like pushing it in, it's like, no, 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 no. Cause it's like long hair and I'm not cutting it. Sorry, not happening. They're just like naturally there kind of thing and I just, I don't know. And then I have to put gel on them. Mm -mm. 
it's too much for your girl. Sorry. My Christian Louis Vuitton that I don't take off this whole summer. These were the best investment ever. I wear them every fucking day, literally. Unless I'm wearing sneakers. And if I'm wearing sneakers, I'm wearing those new ducks that I got the other day. Because, wow. I don't know. They're just so perfect. And they go with everything. Literally everything. But I don't wear shoes in my house, so sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you and you. You in the back. Soon. <gasps> Wait, we can't forget rings. This, this one. This one. I heard that putting a pinky ring on helps you communicate better. This one. So these are my rings. I miss having more, but the ones that I had, they were not like tarnish proof. And every time I would wash my hands, like they would get green and my fingers would look crazy. No. I got this a while ago. It's the Byredo Rose of No Man's Land. So good. So good. It smells oh, like a woman, you know? And that's really it now. And I'll see you and you, you in the back, so. Yeah, the way this, these pants make my body, let me see if I can put this down a little bit. The way that this makes my body look. Ooh, girl, who that? BBL? Where? Huh? What doctor? Miami? No. Doctor mom and dad jeans. All right, bye.